Dynamic capabilities refer to the ability of a company and its management team to integrate, build and reconfigure internal as well as external competencies to address rapidly changing environments. Or in simpler words, they refer to the ability of a company to deal with or even proactively shape change. Thereby, they enable a company to generate competitive advantage and be successful and eventually survive over longer periods of time. There are actually three types of dynamic capabilities. The first one, called sensing, refers to the ability to identify and create business opportunities. The second one, called seizing, allows the company then to mobilize internal resources to address this opportunity and utilize it for the company. The third one, which is called transforming, refers to the company's ability to then change internally and actually align all its resources and activities internally to address this opportunity. This concept of dynamic capabilities was initially developed by University of California Berkeley professor David Tees in the late 1990s, when the Silicon Valley innovation ecosystem was just emerging, in particular driven by technological innovations. Since then, the idea has been further developed into a strategic management framework. Today, companies in all industries are facing significant change. While change itself is nothing new, it has become way more turbulent. And today's business environment and our world in general are characterized by an increasing level of uncertainty. Uncertainty is very different from risk and requires a very different approach for management. When companies usually face risk, alternative outcomes and all the probabilities are known and risk management has developed sophisticated tools to deal with such risks. In case of uncertainty, however, not all outcomes and not all probabilities of all the outcomes are known. In such situations, a very different management approach is needed and in fact a different mindset is actually required. Dynamic capabilities as an integrative dynamic concept of a company offer a starting point to address this. Different than many other management approaches, the Dynamic Capabilities Framework has been developed with an explicit focus on established companies that need to change and not startups, and an approach to how to manage uncertainty and generate sustainable competitive advantage over longer periods of time and eventually survive. As a management framework, Dynamic Capabilities can help managers to deal with turbulent changes by providing them with guidance and an alternative approach to classic strategy frameworks. Let me just point out three key themes that are part of the Dynamic Capabilities Framework. First, Dynamic Capabilities take a very explicit entrepreneurial perspective and emphasize the identification and proactive creation of business opportunities. In fact, entrepreneurial managers themselves are a key element within the Dynamic Capabilities Framework. Second, related to this, the DC Framework emphasizes continuous innovation and organizational learning, allowing the company to stepwise develop. Third, it explicitly suggests managers to take an ecosystem point of view and shift the strategic logic from owning assets internally to orchestrating them, thereby enhancing strategic flexibility and ability to adjust. Given the importance of dynamic capabilities, a key question is how can actually companies generate them? Dynamic capabilities are deeply embedded in organizations' routines and processes. They cannot be bought. They have to be learned and developed over time. In order to do this, managers can make use of several of the modern management tools that we discuss these days. For example, looking at sensing, opening up the innovation process and using crowdsourcing platforms can help companies to identify new business opportunities. Using lean and agile practices, as well as business model frameworks, can then support them in their seizing activities to actually grab these opportunities. And an ambidextrous organizational setup, coupled with an entrepreneurial and learning focused culture, can support transforming off the company to fully exploit the opportunity and respond to environmental changes.